Be prepared for offensive language from the start, angry outbursts, and provocative dance moves. Gallery to Ireland. Where, where is everyone? We are going live from the house tonight. What do you mean it's live from the house tonight? Why are you in the studio? I thought that was tomorrow. Get yourself to the house, quick. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll get on the buggy, I'll get on the buggy. Bennett, move out of my way, Bennett. Move. Oh, my, no, I can't believe I've nearly missed life from the house. Get out of my way. Oh, no. Move, move. Oh. Ten seconds, Ryland. Where are you? Yeah, no, I'm coming. Five seconds away. Over that guy! Over that guy! Over that guy, woman! Hello and welcome to Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. Live from inside the Celebrity Big Brother house. It's so exciting, look. We're on the set. Uh, right now, the housemates are in the garden behind the shutters. Now, they might be hearing something at the moment, but they've got no idea that we are in here. So, before the big reveal, I'm going to take full advantage of being here. So, I think we should have a little snoop about. So, look, this is the dining area. Or is it? What's this down here, I hear you say? Might be the dance floor area. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, here's the living area. We've not really moved this about a bit. We've had a little shift. We've had a little shift, but my favourite still here, look. The little doggy dressed as Winston Churchill, I love it. I do love it. So, yeah, we've not really moved that around. That's, oh, uh, see, someone's let this lot in, all right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but here we are in the kitchen. Come on, little queen bit. Uh, sorry, what was that? Oh, apparently there's something busy going on in the diary room. Big, big brother, what's going on? Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Joe. Big Brother has a secret mission for you. Bit on the side have taken over the house. Your task is to keep Rylan in check. Do you accept your mission? Yes, yes. we do. Yes. Big Brother thinks you can do this. Good luck, panellists. The diary room door to your left is, is open it? for you to we enter the house. Yeah, we can. <laughs> oh, I might have knew it was that long. Give it up for Vanessa Fells, Vicky Patterson and Joe Swatch. All right, there are six very important people I think we need to introduce before we continue. They've got no idea what's going on, but they can just probably hear a load of screaming. So it's time to reveal your Celebrity Big Brother 2016 finalists! Brother House, this is Ryland. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Hello, Hello babes! Hello. Uh, you are live, live on Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side, so please do not swear. Don't mind us, we're just having a little casual to do. You All look right? gorgeous. So do you, babes. <laughs> so do you. Uh, so, guys, we're putting a little bit of a spread for you. Unfortunately, I can't invite you in, but you know I'm a nice person, so you've got a lovely little spread. Oh, you enjoy that, you. and we'll get back to you in a minute. Our housemates, everyone. <laughs> now, the housemates are wearing earpieces so we can control what they can and can't hear. So, for now, they can hear everything that is going on. So, while they settle in, 
<laughs> and pour themselves a little drink. Let's get down to business. What a series we've had. Oh. What a series. Oh. Vanessa, what have you made of it? I have loved it. I have been glued. It's taken over my life. And actually, I haven't met a single person anywhere, at work, at home, in the street. That's not talking about it. it. Everyone's talking Everyone's about it. Everyone's talking about it. We're obsessed by it. And this isn't your first time in the house this no, week, no, is no. it? No, I was in the house yesterday. You'll see it on the show tonight. You'll see it straight You'll after us. You'll see me straight oh, after. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A bit awkward, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, Vicky, it's your first time in here. How's it, how's it feel seeing Scotty? Oh, my God. It's so <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> He's doing so well. And it feels like, I don't know, it is really good to be in here. I'm really quite... I'm, I'm quite... I'm overwhelmed. And it warm. I'm so warm. Yeah. Oh. 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 If only we could open them doors. <laughs> um, Joe, yeah. it's been such a series. What have you made of it? It's been incredible. I mean, it's everything you want from Big Brother. Oh, yeah. I mean, when this ends, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, like, yeah. Well, I'm out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do between <laughs> 9 and 10 at night? I'm going to do They've been amazing. They've all, they've all played their part. I think the last, the last six are brilliant. I love John, I love Daniel, but you've all been amazing. Okay. They have all been brilliant. They have been a good night. Uh, well, listen, we asked uh, this lot to pick their series highlights, so let's take a look at some of the housemates. Well, it says finest. That's debatable. Moment. Uh, Vanessa, let's start with you. You've chosen... Yeah, you know. I know what's going down. Uh, you've chosen something that's probably important to girls across the nation. That's let's take right. a look. What size are you? I'm going to give them to you as a birthday present. Oh, so so darling. Happy birthday, my oh, darling. I know so what it's like. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's so kind. Do you think you could apologise to Angie and... I'm not apologising to that old bitch. I want my shoes back. Oh, bitch, you want your shoes back? The shoes that you... For... I'm going to give them to you. I didn't know that. Oh you can no, have no, I've taken no, them back. No, she's taking them all. Oh, oh, I don't care. I don't care. You should never have gave them to me in the Calm first place. Now, what I'm going to say is yeah. this. Oh. When you gave them to me, the night that you gave it to me, I told you that you didn't have to give me the shoes. I didn't even notice that you took them back. Them shoes, my darling, have to be on someone's feet. They're very beautiful and humble. There's stones that are missing in those shoes. Gives me the shakes, honestly, just watching it back. <laughs> that was a drama. That was a moment we all Hashtag fell in love. Hashtag shoegate. Yeah. Can't be dealing with it, Ness. That is when we fell in love with Tiffany. It was yes. just magnificent. Suddenly, we saw Tiffany in a different light. We were like, Dressed oh, as a puppet. My God, she was amazing. <laughs> she she was amazing. But, Jimmy, you can't give shoes and take them back. No, you, you can't, can't do, do that. that. You've given them or you haven't given them. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. The whole thing was brilliant. Well, do you know what, Vic? Let's move on to your one. Uh, let's have a little look and see what you've chosen. Don't give a shit about anyone apart from yourself. Do not sit there and look this at me is like that. This big brother would Megan come to the diary room immediately. Piece of shit. Let me a take nasty you to the diary piece room. of shit. No. He is a nasty piece of work. And he is, he is flipping me out because he is lied all night. And he slates, slates Tiffany, slates Tiffany to the ground, slates her. Hello? Let me in there. Megan, Go sit on. down. Let me in there. Megan, sit let down. Let me in there. And you let Tiffany demand everyone. Megan, sit down. No, you let everyone else demand everyone apart from me. So let me out. Language on that, but we are an eight o'clock show tonight for the first time ever. Maybe the last now. Um, what were you making of that? I mean, I love Megan to yeah. bits. I've lived with her doing X on the Beach. I mean, I've, I've gone on nights out with her and everything. I adore her, which is a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, bet, I think the camera come off worse than the diary, if I'm being honest. Uh, last but not least, Joe, should we have a look at what yeah, you picked? Let's, let's have a little yeah. browse. Hey, drink that, and I'm going to save some of this for you. You mean that? Give Scott your kiss. Give Scott your kiss. I had a gag on that. Give him a tree away. Give him a tree away. You gave me the tongue. Oh. Yeah, girl, you know it. Truth or dare? Truth. You kiss them both again, tell me who's the best kisser. Come here. Oh, Joe's loving it. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
Who's that? She's standing up. <laughs> oh, oh my, my God! God. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Max! <laughs> I was a bit of a boy, you guys. Gave me a bit of a boy. Oh, honestly, Jazz, you're a cheeseburger, but Scotty's the big man. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating now. Oh. <laughs> Joe, do I need to ask why that moment? No, Keep it clean. There, there are other moments, like when Scotty was in the shower and she was going, hey, Scotty, come on, let me touch you, Scotty. <laughs> Keep it clean, <laughs> Oh, they're gonna strap me down. Stop it. Sorry, I love, I love <laughs> Tiffany. You're amazing. She's come in the house and I feel she struggled in the beginning because she wanted to be a firecracker, but she just needed to be herself and she's been fantastic. Well, do you know what? Funny. We're gonna be talking about them all a bit more in detail a bit later yeah. on, but for now, oh. give it up for a house. Thank you for having me. No house party is complete without some dancing. Dr. Dance is going to be tearing up the floor and analysing the housemates' moves to vote. I'll see you after the vote. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother's Bit on the Side, coming to you live from the Big Brother house. Housemates are having a lovely time with our little buffet. Uh, but coming up, our panel are going to be revealing who they think deserves to win. And But don't think we're going to be letting you hear that. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, but first, I think it's maybe time for a little trip down memory lane. What do you think? Yeah. Let's have a little walk about. I mean, this is where the famous potato gate happened. To the bone with old GC. Oh. To the bone. Oh, that, what a night. Oh, some Ryland's nuts. Let's, you know what? Let's go and have a little look through their dirty laundry, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in the... It stinks. <laughs> oh, my luck. Stephanie, please, girl. <laughs> Please, girl, have you not learned? It's been nearly five weeks. What we got over here? Oh, this is a nice little jumper. Oh, no. This is nice. Oh, actually, I think this looks like one of Scotty teeth. Darren, you'd let me borrow this, wouldn't you, babe? <laughs> you, you let me have a go yeah, on that. Yeah. Beautiful. Do you know what? I'm feeling a bit peckish, actually. I'm not going to lie. I know Stephanie keeps her secret stash somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Look at that. Steph, what are the chances? Look. What? Oh, oh, lovely bit of chocolate. Oh, do you know what, Steph? I'll leave them there for you later, babe. Just don't tell Big Brother, They've all right? Them there. They've oh, They've and this is it. This is it. This is the bed where Jeffany had their first oh, kiss. No. And do you know. Oh, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait. What's that? <laughs> Stephanie! What have you done this time? <laughs> There's a the footprint on the pillow, guys. People have to sleep here. You're absolute animals. <laughs> Oh, Daniela, I feel your pain, girl. I feel your pain. Do you know what? Let's come back into it. Oh, this is where Tiffany kissed Scotty in the doorway. It was. Oh, hang on. What's this little plaque? In the door. Tiff, Jez, and Scotty's freeway kiss was here. That was a freeway saliva sandwich that I enjoyed. Let me just tell you. But do you know what? I need a bit of a sit down after all of that, especially what's been going on in there. So let's have a little walk over to the sofas. We're going to be delving into the minds of our housemates. So we are going to be talking about ya. But you're not going to be able to hear us, so let's turn the housemates off. Now, before the curtain falls on the CBB Circus for the final time, here to give her review on the housemates' best and worst performances of the series, it's Judy James in... Thank you, Judy James, everyone! Judy, take a seat, darling. Judy, what a series it's been. It's a bit mucky in here, isn't it? It's a little bit mucky. It's guys. been right. a defining series for two reasons. Number one, because it was brilliant. I mean, so brilliant, I've forgotten the start now. I can't remember who <laughs> went out first. I mean, it's just... But how's it been for you? But it's like watching this series. You've had a lot to talk about. Every, I just, well, I, I just watched it like a viewer with my mouth open. I mean, but the thing that I love about it as well is that it's been defining because I think the celebrities have now learned that they don't mug off Big Brother. Mm. I mean, you don't go in there with a sick note. You don't go in there uh, avoiding everything. You don't go in there with a personality. This is hardcore reality. And you go in there to show what you really like. And I think they've learned that. Let's talk about the housemate. Who's, who surprised you the most as a housemate? I think John, actually. Um, we discussed him when he first went in and yeah. I thought he went in looking like James Bond and then he kind of turned into a James Bond villain after a while. And I think we were expecting that. And I, 
I respected him for it. The only thing that I was worried about and surprised by was who he kind of picked on because they weren't good strategic choices. I mean, mm. he went for Darren straight away and that yeah. meant that Darren got to do his, his kind of wounded, wounded dolphin face for weeks after <laughs> that and that reflected badly on him. Uh, he went for Tiffany, you know, and I, I, I was quite surprised that he did that. When you went in, you waited and you went for the real bad. I waited and I went for the bad <laughs> beats. That's what I did. And that was great, because we were all cheering, but I think he's maybe been picking off the wrong people. Who, who do you think has brought the least to the series, would you say? I think my little wounded dolphin... Darren, and I, I think I loved him. I, he had me from Hello because he's got that lovely voice. He's got that lovely sort of, I don't know, geezer vibe about him. Geezer. The geezer vibe. But I think he's done what he wanted to do. I think he's shown what he isn't anymore. And I don't think he's really shown us what he is to a certain extent. I think the fact that he's, I don't know, born again celibate or whatever, which is, you know, full respect. Yeah. But it means that he was a little bit precious about what some of the other housemates were doing. And it is, Big Brother's all about having fun. It's a bit sexy and everything. And, and what, about, what about the most in inconsistent housemate? Who oh, Daniela. I didn't know. At one minute I was loving her. I mean, she does those amazing diary room chats where she says about her kids and what she wants. And you, you're rooting for her. Next minute she stuck that hat on her head and she's walking out through the fire exit and when you go out there as far as I'm concerned it should shut behind you and not let you back mm. in again so I was really quite befuddled by her I didn't know whether to like her or not and who, who do you think's made the most of their time in the house who's really embraced it and gone for it Stephanie has just embraced everything hasn't she I mean she's just sucked the life out of that house she's just gone for everything <laughs> for want of a better word Jude please please <laughs> And I think she's got a lot to thank Gemma for, uh, for why she's still in there now, because I think every time Gemma refused to do a task, you kind of saw that Stephanie was just doing everything and being fun 24-7. Mm. And I think people have uh, probably enjoyed that as much as anything else. I don't think she's been on a journey as in she's learnt anything. I think she's a bit like a pinball machine. I think she's just bounced off the wall. She'll mm. come out having learnt nothing. And who, who, who do you think sort of change the lease? Who do you think's come in here and been themselves from day one? I think Scotty, um, I, I, he hasn't really touched the sides as far as I'm concerned. He, he's kind of not changed. Um, he's been the same guy. He's very penis-centric, isn't he? And I, I was kind of hoping that we'd learn about another organ, which would be his brain. I mean, I was hoping that we'd see more than just that about him, that maybe not we'd... Not just the chopper. Just we'll say chopper. <laughs> that... that <laughs> Not in South London, we don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Eight o'clock show, Jude. Eight <laughs> no, I, I, I saw when he did that little intelligence test, I thought there's a bit more to him and I wanted to see that side as well. So I think he's got loads of fans, but I don't know any more about him than I did when he went in. Well, very quickly, because we are running out of time and I hate yes. having to say this to you, but as a psych, who have you seen sort of the most facets to? Who's got the most sides that you've said... They've put that on show. Uh, Tiffany, I, I just adore watching that woman. I mean, thank you, Big Brother, for finding her. She's been like a gift in there. And every scene she shows about 20 different emotions, you can see it all running through her face. I think that she went in, she was almost the wrong girl in the wrong show. She wanted to be this super bitch, but then she found it didn't work. And then we saw this much warmer side of her. She's mm. been funny. Um, I, I've kind of, and she's still showing different facets, and I think that she's, she's absolutely fun, like a little kaleidoscope in there, I think. Judy, it's been such a pleasure having you on this series. Ladies and gentlemen, Dame Judy James. <laughs> Dame Judy James. Uh, well, tomorrow night, one of your six finalists are going to be crowned champion. This week, Daniela, Darren, John, Scotty T, Stephanie, and Tiffany all face the public vote. Who wins, you decide. From a landline, call 090 20 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile, call 6 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Daniela, add 03. For Darren, add 04. For John, add 08. For Scotty T, add 13. Stephanie, add 14. For Tiffany, add 15. Calls to the long number will cost you 50 pence, plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50 pence. Voting closes in Friday's live final. If you're watching on Catch Up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. 
the first time I've ever done that live, and I didn't muck it up. That was a touch, wasn't it? <laughs> After the break, we're going to be putting a little surprise into the house. And we've got the finalists, friends and family right here to give them one final pet talk. I've got a feeling it's going to get emotional. See you after the break. Our housemates are currently out in the garden and they can't hear us, but we're about to switch them back on because we've got a big surprise for them because it's their friends and family. So before we introduce them, let's make sure the housemates can hear me. Housemates, can you hear me? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you have been locked off from the outside world and your nearest and dearest for 31 days. Shut up. I've, I've got some people here oh, shut up. who are very no, proud of you and want to give you some advice before the final. Housemates, oh, it's time to see your friends and family. No! Give it up Shut for up. Scotty's mum, Jill! <laughs> John, please, Holly. Steph's dad, Roy. Darren's wife, Stephanie. And Daniela's son, Kai. Now, Tiffany, I don't want you to feel left out. Obviously, your mum couldn't make it, but she's on the line now. Michelle, are you there? Hello, yes, I'm Hi, there. Hi, Michelle. Darling. Hello, darling. Thank you for calling in. Michelle, I'm going to be coming back to you in a moment. Just hold on the line for me. Uh, guys, welcome to the house. How does it feel to be in here? Oh. The housemates are going to hate me for this, but guys, it's time to switch you off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> OK, the housemates are off. Uh, Jill, let's come to you first. Yeah. Scotty T's mum, how's your son done you? He's done me really proud. Yeah. You know why I beat Ryland? Because he's totally been himself all the way through. And what you see here in the house is what you get. And you're proud yeah. of him. Yeah. Proud of him. <laughs> Holly, let me come to you. John's your uncle. Uh, has your uncle done you proud? Of course he has, yeah. I think especially over the, as the weeks have gone on, you see more of his personality come out. He's, he's had, had a bit more of a fun with ride, it. Isn't he? Absolutely, yeah. But I think we've seen a little bit more of his, his personality and his fun side come out, and that's been amazing to see. Cheers, say. babe. Uh, Roy. Stephanie, she's been a feisty one, hasn't she? <laughs> Let's be fair. <laughs> Please give us more content than we're going to imagine. Um, how does it feel knowing that she's just there? It's bringing everything together now after 31 days, did you say? Yeah. And now there's, well, how many hours to go before well, we actually 20, do? 20, oh God, 24 oh. and a half, is it, yeah. I think? Yeah. 24 and a half. <laughs> Touching distance now. She's within touching distance. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's fantastic. And we heard you on the phone, you said you were proud of her. Of course, yeah. Of course, course, it's my daughter! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stephanie, I've got to come to you. We heard you in the task as well on the phone to your husband, Darren. That was absolutely heart melting, listening uh, to the two of you. Yeah, and he got yeah. so emotional. How was it speaking to him but not being able to see him? It was unreal. I mean, the thing was, I didn't know if we were going to be able to, to speak to him, you know, because the counter was going and everything and it was part of the shopping task. So I was just praying to God. And when he came on, I just thought, oh, and this is torture. Please, can I just go and give him a plug? <laughs> I can't oh, let you. I want to why? believe me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kai, I've got to come to you. Your mum, Danielle. What's happening, Kai? I like it. <laughs> um, your mum has been in this house now for 31 days. The one thing that she has kept on saying, I just want to do my kids proud. Mm. Has she done you proud? She's done me more than proud. I'm here today to see her. She made me happy. <laughs> So she has done you proud. I love her some bits and I'm proud of her. Perfect. Well, listen, uh, Michelle, let me come to you on the line. Are you there? I'm here. Hi, gorgeous. Now, how, how, has Tiffany been flying the flag for the US? Yes, Tiffany has been flying the flag for the US. And not just only the US, Tiffany has crossed the Atlantic Ocean to be in the Big Brother yes, house. Yes, she has. And, and the world is proud of Tiffany. Tiffany is a trooper. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Well, listen, it is time now for our housemates to listen in again, as this is your chance to give them one final pep talk. So let's turn the housemates on. Housemates, can you hear me? <laughs> OK, guys, 
Friends and family, you can now give your nearest and dearest one final pet talk. You are going to have 15 <laughs> seconds each. When the klaxon sounds, you must stop talking. So, Jill, we're going to start with you. This is your chance to give Scotty T one final pet talk. Straight down the camera, your 15 seconds begins now. Scott, before you went in the house, I did say to you, just be yourself, and you've certainly done that. I'm really proud of you, son. I love you, and you've shown what a kind heart and lovable person you are. And kiss to the end of the show and hope it goes well. Love you, Mum. There we go. Time's up. Well done, Jill. Uh, Holly, we're going to come to you. Your 15 Aww. second pep talk for your Uncle Thank John you. begins now. John, you always make me so proud to call you my uncle and you've made me especially proud over the last four weeks. <laughs> you've handled yourself amazingly and you've only got 24 hours left to go, so make the most of it. Have fun. Love you lots and we'll see you down the other side. <laughs> Time's up. Good timing. Roy. She's in a bit of a state. It's your time to give your daughter a 15 second pep talk. Your time begins oh. now. Stephanie, what does it feel like to be a CBB 2016 finalist? <laughs> well done, girl. Oh. You've done fantastic. You've been an open book throughout this journey. You've been open and honest to yourself. The nation have seen that. You should be proud of yourself. It's a great Time's up, Roy. Well done, mate. <laughs> Stephanie, now you can say it to his face. Your 15 seconds begins now. Darren, darling, you have done amazing. We are all so proud of you, sweetheart. You need to hold your head up high. You've been absolutely brilliant. We're all rooting for you, darling. And I can't wait to get you back home. I love you so much, baby. Well done. Well done. Time's up. Kai, I want to remind you, we are live and pre-water sheds, so no swearing. I'm sorry, uh, Kai, your time to speak to your mum begins now. What's happening, mum? <laughs> I ain't seen you in a while. I hope I you're all right. You. you seem to be doing me, Jean and Carl, everyone proud. Get a bell when you ain't too busy. All right. I love you so <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's take it to the phone lines. Michelle, you know the score. This is your chance to give your daughter oh. Tiffany some advice. Your 15 seconds begin now, Michelle. Tiffany, you have crossed the Atlantic Ocean to be in the Big Brother house. The USA and the world is proud of you, and we just love you so much, baby. Do your thing, you rock girl. I love you, <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Your time is now up. Uh, guys, that is it, friends and family. That's all we've got time for. But listen, housemates, don't worry, because you are going to be seeing them very, very soon. But for now, please Aww. give it up for the friends and family, guys. Thank you, much for coming. Thank you, guys. Uh, well, now they all want their nearest and dearest to be crowned champ tomorrow night, but there is only one opinion that counts, and that is yours. Who wins? You decide. This week, Daniela, Darren, John, Scotty T, Stephanie and Tiffany all face the public vote. Who wins? You decide. From a landline, call 090 20 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile, call 6 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Daniela, add 03. For Darren, add 04. For John, add 08. For Scotty T, add 13. For Stephanie, add 14. For Tiffany, add 15. Calls to the long number will cost 50 pence plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50 pence. Voting closes in Friday's live final. If you're watching on catch up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Now, tomorrow night, Mates are going to be crowned your winner. If you're still undecided on who to vote for, here to give us all a little bit of a helping hand and maybe a shaking hip. It's Dr. Dance, everyone! Yeah. Yes, Pete! Oh. Oh. Pete, I've got the special dancing shoes on for you. Look at that. I'm so I'm jealous of those shoes. Uh, well, listen, Sunday we saw the housemates cut some shapes. They grooved to a bit of music right here. Uh, you're going to talk us through their lifts, their body flicks, the body shakes, all of it. Uh, so let's start with Darren and Daniela. They had a bit of a boogie together. So what has their dance moves said about them? Well, they were dancing like, like two parents who gate crashed a student party. 
yeah. they were kind of dancing away in a very kind of relaxed manner. We get some manner. music. I want to be a music. Oh, yeah. yeah. But they were kind of dancing like this. And occasionally Darren would kind of go, you go, oh, da, da, oh. And then they'd be back to this. Now, of yeah. course, these two have been in their private lives through hell and high water. And what we see in their dancing is just a relief. There's a complete relief and also an acceptance of where they're at in their life right now. Okay. And it's beautiful to see them moving in that way. They're so relaxed. Like and gazelles. Like gazelles. They've arrived in this wonderful place and they've really enjoyed themselves. But they do look a little bit like awkward parents dancing in a studio. Bit of dad party. dancing. Bit of dad dancing, yeah. I like it, I like it. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to our next dancing duo, uh -huh. Tiffany and John. What do we make of their mm. dancing? Well, Tiffany and John are incredibly oh, intense. Mood change. They had, oh yes, they had the eye contact. Oh. So they had real eye contact in that, in that way. And they'd be doing this oh. and this oh, Peter. and this and then what they do then they, they come down and animalistically and now what they start doing is moving keeping that eye contact really right. intense and they've been mirroring their body language mm. and of course what we have is John who's incredibly empathetic and we've got Tiffany who's really calculated but she's calculated in a sexual way Ooh. and John is empathetic he'll do whatever she wants but they know that what happens on the dance floor stays on the dance floor right. so they never went over that line and made it disgusting that line was never crossed it was no, never no. entered into good uh, well, let's talk Stephanie and Scotty T. What do their dance moves have at them? <laughs> well, these two are like a pair of adult seven-year-olds. They're absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Now, they're like playing, so they're going, da 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 And then they're facing each other, we go, oh, and then they're playing, we go, we go, the tummies, oh, and then our bottoms, our bottoms, then our bottoms, we go, oh, wow. And so they're like playing. It's an eight o'clock show, please. sorry. And what they're doing here, they're enjoying it. Now, of course, we know that one of them is very needy and wants to be loved. And we know the other one is a giver and he wants to give whatever she wants. So Stephanie has that need to be loved. Um, and of course, what he's doing is giving her the love. He's saying, okay, let's play. And they're playing, they're enjoying themselves and they're loving the movement and loving that, that refreshing thing. Okay, Wonderful. okay, well, look, we spoke about them all. I think uh -huh. uh, we should talk about Tiffany again, just quickly, because she gave the housemates a little lesson in twerking. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to regret this, I know it. I'm actually sweating at the ball. <laughs> Who do you think done the best there? Well, the best, I think Stephanie did the best work. She did have she, a good she one. She did amazing, amazing, amazing. And I think Scotty T. Yeah, I think, Scotty T was going No, 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 it was the worst. Oh, but it he was, was going worst. for it, no, Peter. It was going. But he didn't have that. What he didn't do, you see, he didn't right, really kind of get into it. So turn your legs out slightly, knees over your toes. Okay. And then put your hands here on there. And then get those hips kind of going backwards and forwards. And then, and then thrust it backwards. And then thrust it forward. Oh, I don't think now, you can do imagine, this at eight o'clock. <laughs> imagine you've got something between your legs, dangling in the sand. Well, I hope I have to be asked. to draw in the sand and get out moving. Oh, that's it, no, that's it. And that's what Scotty T ought to have done, hearts in the back and going for it with that bottom. And then he would have been really twerking. On that note, give it up a dog to dance, please. <laughs> I knew they want to win. Plus, finale is literally just around the corner. Our six finalists get the best surprise of all because they're going to meet me. Woo! Don't go anywhere. See you after the break. Tonight on Channel 5. Ah! I'm going to flip. What does she do? Celebrity Big Brother, tonight at 9 on Channel 5. But first, we've just 24 hours to go until the winner is crowned. Let's see who our panel think is the most deserving winner. Now, we have got 35 seconds to talk about each housemate. When the time's up, we hear this sound. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and we'll have to move on. So let's start with Daniela. Start the clock. Vicky, what are you making of Daniela? I wasn't sure about her first. I thought she was going to come in here and have a breakdown, but I apps. She's won me over. Put she's it that done way. Well. She has. Yeah. She's done brilliantly. She's done herself proud. I'm sure she's done her family proud. And no matter what happens, she should think she's done really well because, mm -hmm. I mean, if, if she won, I'd be happy. Vanessa? I agree, she's done a terrific job. She's been seen to be fragile, she's been seen to be unpredictable, but actually, she's funny, she's wise, she does have a temper, she's not afraid to show it. I think she's been very genuine, sincere, and I love it when she puts that scarf on her head. It absolutely I love kills it. me. I love yeah. it! Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. Oh, well, listen, let's move on to ladies, man. Scotty T, start the clock. Joe, what are you making, Scotty T? Yeah, well, I love Scotty T. I think he's a bundle of energy. He stayed out of all the arguments. 
I, I, yeah, he's just he's just enjoying himself. It's nice to see someone enjoying himself mm. instead of being at each other's throats. Especially this series. Especially <laughs> this series, yeah. So I think he's done himself. I think, like Vicky, he's done himself proud, you know. Yeah. Vanessa? Yeah, he's not too complicated. He's incredibly good looking and close up. Yeah, you hey. Hey. Oh. Well, I could feel pheromones coming off that boy. I really could. Oh, wow. Sexy boy. Vicky. Oh, yeah, <laughs> very good. Oh, off oh, yes, yes, I can. Down, Vanessa. He's, uh, he's my winner. Yes! He's your winner. Yes! Now we are. Yes! Uh, let's move on to John. Start the clock. Vic, we'll start with you. What are you making of John? Uh, again, I think uh, I wasn't sure about John at first. Uh, me and George has talked before, yeah. weren't we, babe? He's had some ups and downs and all the rest of it. Um, I know Joe wants him to do sort of really well. And I do think he has changed people's perception of him. Yeah. So I think he's, he has done himself proud. However, for me, he's not a winner. Oh. Vanessa? I agree with her. I think, I think yeah. he's, he's interesting, he's bright. Probably not the winner this no. time. Yeah. I think he struggled in the beginning because he's an actor and watching people from reality, yeah. they're good at what they do. And this is a reality show. I think it took him a while to see through that. Yeah. And now he's settled yes! down. Yes! Oh! Yes! Uh, right, let's talk about Tiffany. Start oh. the clock, Joe. I love Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. her. You know what with Tiff? I think she came in with this reputation of being a firecracker. Yeah. The first week she was sort Tiffany of... Tiffany New York, Pollard. Yeah, yeah, and she was looking for sort of moments to kind of go mad. And once she realised that it wasn't getting her anywhere, yeah. she settled down and she was herself. And I think out of all the Americas we've had through the years, oh, even Gary Boosty that won it, I think mm. she's settled in the best. Yeah. I love her. Vanessa. She is magnificent. She's funny. She's bright. She's witty. She turns it on for the camera. Mm. She turns it off yeah. again. She looks great. I think she's superb. Absolutely yeah. superb. Yes! Oh, yes! Uh, yes! Next up, we've got Darren. Vicky, start the clock. I fancy him a bit me. His <laughs> <laughs> wife's about. Well, no, I, mean, what you say. I mean, she's beautiful. Do you know what I mean, stunning. I'm no competition for her whatsoever. <laughs> but I do think, like, he's sort of he's going to be the housewife's favourite. Yeah. And he's a nice bloke. Yeah. He's just so genuine and so lovely. And the love he's got for his wife, it's won me over. Like, oh, it's lovely. He's it really, really, really nice Vanessa. to see. I think he's great. I think maybe he's been a little too guarded. He's been very, very keen on rebranding himself and showing what he's really like. So maybe he's never really relaxed, let loose, had fun. Yeah. Joe? Uh, I like Darren. I think he's it's, it's lovely to <laughs> see someone that's yes, sort of... Yes, oh! Yes, yes. Uh, well, finally, we've got Stephanie. She's definitely been a big character. <laughs> Start the clock, Joe. Uh, I like Steph. I felt sorry for him in the beginning. Um, I felt that Jeremy didn't get enough stick for it. I think he's 50-50. He knew she had a boyfriend. She's only young. Young girls do it. She just got caught on TV. I didn't like the knicker gate. I thought John and Darren oh, let themselves nice. down by showing everyone. But I think mm. she's come through the other side. Yeah. Go on, Vanessa. Vanessa. I think she could win because she's vulnerable. She's shown such vulnerability. She's also been quite feisty. She's, I mean, she's very, very fascinating mm. person. Very flawed, as we all are. We're all terribly flawed. So I think maybe she will have struck a chord in People especially. Yes! Oh, oh yes! I didn't get yes! you. Well, listen, very quickly down the panel, Vic, I'm going to start with you. Who's your winner? For me, like, it couldn't be anybody else. There's some great contenders out there, but it's got to be Scotty T. Scotty T. Scotty T. I'd like it to be Tiffany. You'd like it to be yeah. Tiffany, Joe? Uh, between between Daniela and, and John, my mate Nick, Nick the Greek put a score on Daniela, so. So you're hoping that one comes <laughs> in? <laughs> well, listen, give it up for our panel, guys. They've been great tonight. Uh, do you know what? I think it's time we uh, turn the housemates on. Housemates, can you hear me? Now listen guys, I'm absolutely sick of looking at you through glass. I think I should go into the garden, what do you think? Oh, please don't help me. <laughs> come and sit down, because we haven't got long, Darren. Oh my God. Come and take your seat. I'll give you all a cuddle before I go. Uh, guys, first of all, congratulations. Our finalists, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Amazing. How does it feel to be sitting here on Finale Eve? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's life changing. It's, it's been one hell of a journey like that. A roller coaster, I'm drained. What was <laughs> that? John, you just said overwhelming. Over I mean, you've done this show with me before. How does it feel being on the other side? Uh, <laughs> it is the most bizarre thing, and hands down, it's been the most challenging experience. Hard and it. some of the times I've sat on that panel and I've been so flippant and given off the cuff remarks. We've seen it. Yeah, you've done it. Uh, uh, and now, I'm ashamed of that. I'm ashamed. Because in this house, it is not, you know, some of it is not a joke. It no. is real, real nice. to us. But that being said, we're all sat here and it's been amazing. Tiff, got Tiff, let me, Tiff, you've got to the end. Tiff, let me come to you. Uh, hello, darling. You all right? <laughs> yes. Oh, Tiff, you give me some lulls, but we'll talk about it later. <laughs> um, Tiff, how does it feel leaving America, getting on a flight, as you keep saying, yeah. coming over here into a house of people you don't know, yeah. And you're sitting here at the final. Yes, it's such a breathtaking 
um, accomplishment. I really feel humbled by it. I can't believe I'm still here. No one knew me from a, a can of paint, mm. but yet I still survive and I'm standing and I'm here. And, and I'm she's still finalists. going, guys. She is still going. <laughs> Daniela, I've got to come to you. I mean, all you've been saying the whole series, I want to make my family proud. I do. My baby comes down the you've stairs. Just I haven't seen him since New Year's Day. How do you, how do you feel you've done? Oh, he reckons I'm all right. So if I'm, if my boy says I'm good, then I'm good, and the baby loves it. So, oh, listen, if I've made them proud, my job here is done on earth. I'm, well, well I'm done, happy, mate. you know. Congratulations oh. on making it this I'm, far. I'm happy. Scotty, hello, mate. Hello, mate. <laughs> hello. I've seen a lot of you, but it's an eight o'clock <laughs> show, so I've got to be careful. Oh, no. How does it feel sitting here now as a CBB finalist? Me, and honestly, I, I never expected this since I walked in this house. But I tell you what, though, it has been mental in here. But, like, these six people <laughs> who are know. sitting here, these five people who are sitting here, like, uh, they've helped me through it. Like, I mean, they're all amazing. And, like, I, I literally, I'm, I'm going to be friends with these for a long time. I mean, we've, we've been through, like, thick and thin, but I'm just glad to be sitting here. And thank you so much for everyone well who's supporting me. You know what I mean? Honestly, thank well you, done. mate. Thank you. Steph. This is an 11 o'clock show, I'll be saying a little bit more. <laughs> um, how, do, how does it feel after all of that to actually be sitting here the night before finale? I don't know what's going on. Like, honestly, I thought it was more hated than Winston and Katie Hopkins put together, so I can't believe that I'm here. I don't know what's going on. I've literally just worn my heart on my sleeve, like my dad said, and I've just, what you see is what you get, well, but I don't know. Well, you have done it, so well done, babe, Thank and you, you deserve your place. Thank Darren, you. I've not got long and I've got to get you in. Well done for making finale. How does it feel being a finalist? Yeah. It's just amazing. And I never expected in a million years to be that, you know, I, I, I thought I'd go out first week. But for the last two and a half weeks, I've been in a bonus round. I'm, I'm absolutely amazed, but I'm also, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. And I'm very, very grateful. And do you know what? You've got your Brucey bonus. Guys, you are our <laughs> finalists. And yeah. do you know what? I think it's been an amazing series. So I, I think it's so. time we have a little look back. Oh, and some of your oh, This is Celebrity Big Brother, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, we go. This path of life for so long. He loved walked a thousand miles. Sometimes strode hand in hand with love. Everybody's been there. With danger on my mind, I would stand on the line of hope. And I knew I could make it. Once I knew the boundaries, I looked into the clouds and saw my face in the moonlight. I do love you, mate. But this house makes it hard for everyone. I've made some amazing friends in here. Like you, I know I'm going to have for life. Work, work, earn it, work, work, yes! Guys, group up, come on. From the arms of disappointment for so long Feel each day we've come too far Yet each day seems to mean much more Sure it's good to be here And I understand the meaning of I can't explain this feeling now And it feels so unreal and that I see the hand that reminds me of the stand that I made. The fact of reality. Never forget where you're coming from. from. Class of 2016. Well, that is it. It's time for us to say goodbye to our housemates. How 
us, mate. Congratulations. You are all very well deserved finalists. I will see you all tomorrow. See Good you. luck. You, Lots sure. of love. Let's bring the shows down. Yeah. Good luck, mate. Massive thank you to our panel and our audience. Uh, you don't have long to wait for your next slice of Big Brother action. The main show is coming up straight after this. And Vanessa's going to be making a cameo. I'll be back in the Fox studio live at 11 o'clock tonight, counting down to the final. Vicky's sticking around. Ricky Norwood's going to be here. And the queen of the Essex blow dryer, the GC, is back. There's Oaks who's up for some games. There's no rest for the wicked. I'll see you 